Hey guys, I have an empties video for you today. I've never done one before and it always makes me laugh um, thinking about doing one of these because my mom, I gotta tell you a little story. My mom, who doesn't watch my videos, um, she saw that I liked somebody's empty video, empties video on YouTube. I think it was like Leanne says, I think did an empties video and I liked it and then it pops up on my Twitter that I liked the video. Anyway, my mom was like, oh, I'm, I want to see how she like recycled. She thought it was like about like recycling empty bottles and like how you use them or something like that, um, and not like just showing all the things that you've used. I, I don't know. I suppose to an outsider, showing your garbage is kind of fun. I don't know. Anyway, so I have collected over the past you know like a couple months um, some empties. Most of them are um, Bath and Beauty type products. Um, two of them aren't. I think. Um, so I will just quickly go through them. I won't talk too too much about them to keep this video a little bit short, but I just wanted to show you what I've been going through. So the non Bath and Beauty type products, I have this Leapin' Lizards Chai Black Tea from Steep Tea. I talked about it in um, a favorites video last July, I think. Um, it was definitely last summer. I uh, I really enjoy Steep Tea, and um, I also have this Creme Caramello Rooibos. Tea in triangles is also by Steep Tea. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it is a network marketing company. Um, I'm a big fan of network marketing companies. I work for one of my own, uh, so so I, I like to support um, women who are trying to work from home or add a little income uh, in for their families. Um, so that being said, uh, we'll get into the rest of it. I have this sensitive skin shave gel with aloe from it's the up and up brand from target when target was still here um so anyway i like that okay it was it was fine and then i have this conditioner um the fibrology l'oreal fibrology conditioner i tested this for influencer and i just finally finished the last of the bottle i've still got the shampoo um, that i'm going through um, I've got this golden sugar scrub um, from Bath and Body Works. It's the Moonlight Path scent, and uh, I thought that was pretty nice. I thought it was a bit, um, a bit oily um, when you use it on your legs or wherever you know wherever you're using it. But I kind of liked it after I shaved um, because then I didn't have to like moisturize um, afterwards. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite scrubs. It's St. Ives Apricot Scrub. I have yet to find anything I like as much as this, but apparently I've been reading online that it's not so good to use um, these abrasive scrubs. Um, not so good for your skin. So if anybody knows um, or has done a blog post or a YouTube video about it, um, let me know why that is. Um, because I really like this stuff and I've been trying to stay away from it since I finished this. It's really hard. I know. First world crawls. Okay, so this is Garnier Fructose Damage Eraser. It is the Strength Reconstructing Butter. It's a super, uh, like a super thick conditioner, and I loved this. Um, I also received this from Influencer uh, quite a while ago, and this was a repurchase, and I'll probably get it again because I love um, the deep conditioning type products. This is Sea Source Detox Spa Fortifying Hair Mask from Arbonne. Again, another network marketing company. I bought this from a friend um, who sells it, and I thought it smells quite nice. It's not super floral, so if you were a man, you wouldn't like object to using this. I thought it worked really well, um, but the package is, is a little bit small for the price, although I'd probably buy it again um, if it was on sale or something like that. I also went through this Arginine Resist Instant Miracle um, Fragile Hair with Tendency to Fall. It's also a um, conditioning treatment. I probably have a lot of these in here actually because um, Alex, my youngest son, is five months old and my hair is like really falling out right now so I'm trying to take as good care of what I have left um, as I can. So I've gone through this. Uh, I've also got this Herbal Essences Moisture Conditioner. I had the shampoo. I don't know where that bottle went. Um, so I, I did uh, I did use the, the shampoo as well. I think I got this from, I don't think it was Influencer. I think it was Buzz, Buzz Agent. Um, if you want to know um, any of these places that I that I get my products, um, 
to try and to review. I can link a few in the description box below for you. Um, there, they will be affiliate links, so if, if you join, I will get credit, um, which is awesome. I would love that. Um, but it just also gives you an opportunity to try cool stuff like this because I absolutely love this Herbal Essences, uh, yeah, Herbal Essences Naked Paraben and Colorant Free. Um, I thought it smelled awesome and it worked awesome. Also, we have Satsuma Shower Gel from The Body Shop. This is my favorite scent from The Body Shop and I love Body Shop products. Um, you can always get these at a really good price and this, is, this is just has been a favorite scent of mine for a long time. Um, so it's, it's one of those things that I keep um, rebuying. I also uh, went through the Laura Ashley Sweet Peony Body Butter. Um, I got this in a beauty box, I think it was from Beauty Box 5, and it was okay. Um, the texture is nice, the scent is nice. I, I don't think I can get it in store, uh, in stores around here, it, give or take, you know, I, I could, I mean, I could take it or leave it, um, but it was, uh, it was decent while it lasted. I've also got this um, Design Line Fuji, uh, Fiji Therapy Styling Oil from Regis, um, the hair salon. Uh, it is a, um, an oil, styling oil. Um, I like to put like an oil on my ends. You can probably tell it's a bit humid outside today and my hair is a little bit, it's a little bit of a frizz so I like to put oil on, on the ends. Um, so I went through that. It's super expensive. I think it was like $14.95 for that tiny little bottle. I probably wouldn't buy it again. It wasn't anything life changing for me. Um, I also went through this scandalous by Nana Coco mascara. I wasn't a huge fan of this. Um, the brush, the bristles, oh, you totally can't see that unless this camera doesn't zoom. Um, the bristles are kind of short. Um, the formula was a little bit dry for me. Maybe it was just my, you know, the tube that I got. I wasn't uh, totally enthused by it. Um, this, however, the Revlon Bold Lacquer. Um, mascara I really really liked the brush is like a standard it's not one of the new like plasticky type brushes it's like one of the kind of more old-school um, bristles and uh, I like that about it I didn't find it super clumpy um, it's for length and volume and I found that it did add quite a bit of length so I think I got this in a beauty box five as well and I really liked that I'd probably buy that again if I noticed it in the store um, I also um, went through this um, Enfusel Purifying Toner. This is by Shackley. It is the network company that I work for. Um, this I have I have pretty bad skin, um, and since I started using the whole Enfusel line, it's a line of natural skincare products. I've noticed a huge improvement in my skin. I don't have nearly as many breakouts. Um, my acne scarring is going away, and um, not just because I sell the stuff, but because it really worked for me. Um, I absolutely recommend the Enfusel, um, the Enfusel skincare system. And I also went through, um, this is also Enfusel, it's the refining polisher. It is, um, so it's like an exfoliator, but it's, um, it's very, very gentle. Um, I, I did enjoy it for like every other day, but every other day I also like, you know, like the St. Ives scrub, like I like a little bit more of an abrasive scrub. Um, this one is supposed to be better for you. It probably is, but I, I don't know. I just like that. I feel like it works better if it's a little bit rougher, you know? Um, that's what she said. So, so anyway, I did go through that. And that is it. That's um, all my garbage that I have to show you. So please let me know if you like this kind of empties video and I will keep saving my garbage. If not, just let me know and I'll throw it out. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.